JT Fridays is live in five, four, three, two, one. Hey, mama, welcome to the sixties. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, it's Tim with the Allen McDonald. I am your host for JTF Fridays, live at four o'clock. Hey, last week's debut of this broadcast was so fun and it just felt so successful and the feedback that we got from all of you was really, really, really terrific. So we're gonna do it again. <laughs> if you've uh, been watching the news, you know that um, I am in New York City, I'm in Washington Heights right now. Uh, I can literally see the George Washington Bridge from the windows that are right there. And um, as you may have heard, we have been now asked to wear a protective face gear as well to prevent other people from getting the virus, should we be one of the 25% who carry it with no symptoms. But when you're in the theater, you um, have friends who make sure that your protective mask is stylish. I will debut mine. Come. Um, I mean, you can't really hear me, right? See, it's good, right? Sets off my eyes. I want to give a shout out to Lisa Morrow for making all the iTheatrics team's awesome face masks. I also believe this may be leftover fabric from Walmart. <laughs> anyway, welcome back. Uh, we have a huge show planned for you, and um, we're going to do what we all do best. We're going to make the world a better place one musical at a time. And speaking of that, so many of you responded so positively to Robert Kiki's new song that he performed on last week's episode. We have made a video of that performance and it is available right now on our YouTube channel. Plus there's a bonus. What is that bonus, Tim? I have to be my own audience because I'm alone. Um, yeah, it's a little schizophrenic, but hey, it keeps me going. What is that bonus, Tim? The bonus is this. There is in the video description, a link where you can download the sheet music for that song and an accompaniment track. So you can do as we promised, you can record that song yourself and push it out on all the social medias. We just ask you to tag Rob Rikiki. It's the one note challenge, as you see right there, hashtag one note challenge. Tag Rob Rikiki, uh, tag iTheatrics, and go out there and do it. You know why? Because the world needs a little bit of hope right now. And hearing you sing that song will bring that hope to that world. <laughs> All right. I already said today's show is huge. I'm so excited to share it with you. But before we do that, what's up first? You got it. The Sondheim Pledge. So everyone stand up, get off of those chairs, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I state your name. I'll just do that again because I know what you did. I do hereby promise to defeat this pandemic through physical distancing, by keeping a positive attitude, by helping others in need, because I am an artist, and I will use my artistic superpowers to make this world a better place. So help me, Sondheim! All right, give me those jazz hands and some spear fingers. <laughs> yes. All right, Grand Vizier V Chat. Is everyone in places? Oh my gosh, there are so many amazing people in our virtual green room. I can't even stand it. I know, it's so cool. After the first um, episode last week, all these people contacted us. And we're like, I want to be on the show. I want to be on the show. We I know, a hot ticket. It's, oh yeah, and free. Yeah. Yeah, it's the best free ticket live at four o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I have our first guest um, from iTheatrics, our resident music director, Miss Lindsay Loopy. Hiya. Hi, Lindsay. How's it going? You know, awesome. This part, <laughs> this part of the week is awesome. It's so much fun to be with everybody and to share okay. some fun things. Hey, how are you guys holding up in a two-bedroom apartment with two toddlers? We're great. It's so easy. 
I wasn't the one stress eating in my kitchen an hour ago, vacantly staring out a window. It's fine. Uh, no, honestly, we're doing fine. It is definitely challenging, uh, but we are just trying to stay focused on the fact that we actually do love each other. And um, easier said than done, but I am thankful for these extra moments with my family. <laughs> well, a special shout out to all of the people with kids out there. Um, because it's hard. You're expected to be parents and educators and friends and- And, and lunch ladies, lunch ladies. We have to feed people constantly. Yes, it's a lot. And um, I'm very proud of all of you for sticking with it and, and finding some hope and joy in all this. Yeah, well, we're doing our best and that is all we can do, right? It is all, yeah, it's all we can do. Hey, what would be wonderful is if you could lead us in a little centering exercise. I just find it's just a great way to get this thing started. Yeah, for sure. Hey, take it away. Awesome, okay, so I presume you're sitting and if that's, you can absolutely sit, plant your feet flat on the floor wherever you are at and go ahead and just put your hands right on your lap and take a deep breath in and let it out. Oh, guys, you made it through another week of quarantine. Breathe that in and let it out. Ah, that feels good. Okay, wiggle your fingers for me. Wrists, elbows, shoulders, do your whole top half of your body, and then just let it hang. Good, one more time. Wiggle your fingers, your wrists, your elbows, your shoulders, wiggle it all. Let it hang. Good, let's warm up our face just a little bit. Open everything really wide. And shut it really tight. And open everything really wide and shed everything really tight. Good, and go ahead and just give yourself a little massage here right on your jaw. A lot of people hold a lot of tension here. Be kind to yourself, guys. Self-care, it is a big deal, especially when you are in your home 24 seven. Clap your hands together, not like a bobblehead, but go ahead and shake your jaw loose, okay? It looks like this, feel free to laugh. I'm gonna look ridiculous. Your turn. Amazing. Great, great. Put your hands down. Look to one side, just really gently. People hold a lot of tension in their necks. Look to the other side. Good. Come back to the other side. Then the other. Nice to just get things moving just a little bit. Look down and look up and look down and look up. And then lastly, just put your ear to your shoulder your other ear to your other shoulder. And then your ear to your other shoulder. And one more time the other way. Good, and lastly, I just want us to breathe together just a little bit. So I want you to put one hand over your heart and one hand right here on that solar plexus chakra, like right underneath your rib cage, okay? And take one really good deep breath in and out and in and out. On your next inhale, I want you to think of all the positive stuff that is actually happening and has happened in the last week for you. And you can think about all the negative stuff too, but really breathe in all the good stuff and then let all the bad stuff out, all right? Inhale and exhale. One more time in and one more time out. Good, now I want you to take just a second and pay attention to where you're holding tension in your body the most right now. Are you holding it in your neck? Is it in your jaw? Is it in your shoulders, in your abdomen, in your calf muscle? It could be anywhere. But I want you to picture where that tension is. And when you inhale, I want you to picture the tension breaking into a million pieces. And when you exhale, picture all that tension releasing and coming out of your body. All right, here you go, inhale and exhale. Go one more time, in and out. Good, and lastly, we're gonna take a breath in and we're gonna release it on a hum. And you're gonna feel the energy reverberating through your body and hopefully in that space where you have released the tension, you'll be able to feel good vibrations throughout those entire spaces, all right? So it'll be like this, in. Hmm. Good, do it with me this time, inhale. 
Good, I hope you guys feel a little bit more centered. It's really important to just check in with yourself, especially during this time. You take care of so many people, either within your space or in your virtual space, that it is important, as we say in our rehearsals, in our shows, on an airplane, put the mask on yourself first, then the person next to you. Self-care, all right. Hope you're feeling calm. <laughs> Lindsay, that was awesome. Can I also show off my face mask from Lisa Morrow? Oh, I haven't seen yours. I think you're wearing it upside down. Uh, am I? I don't know. That could explain it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> They're beautiful, aren't they? Hmm? They're beautiful, aren't they? They are beautiful, my goodness. Hey, it's, also, it's also fun being able to see everybody's comments um, on the screen. So it's fun to see, um, like Roy, you mentioned, You'd love to see uh, the, oh, Stephen Kennedy. Um, uh, I heart Stephen G. Kennedy. <laughs> uh, Roy, you mentioned getting the phone, I'm, glad, I'm happy to put the modified one out for everybody. Um, we did do our very first Teachable Tuesdays at four last mm -hmm. week. So, and it was, oh my gosh, so much fun. I, I got giant tears when I saw all the faces. We had 69 teachers in the room, it was just terrific. So what's on tap for this Tuesday? So this Tuesday is all about vocal warm-ups. So you will hang out with me for just a little bit. I'll tell you a little bit how I warm up, why I do the things I do. And then I theatrics own Mr. Daniel J. Mertzluft, AKA Mr. Sparkles, will be available and on hand to teach us some of his original vocal warm-ups that he's composed and we have used to much success. Great, and if I want to uh, join there, and I do, I want to be a part of it, how do I get in the, into the Zoom where it happens? Uh, well, you can email me, lindsay, at itheatrics.com on the bottom of your screen. Uh, just let me know you're interested. I will add you to our roster of teachers. And every Monday, I will send out the Zoom link to that roster of teachers. We have a limited number of space and slots in our Zoom room. So if you are one of the first 90 participants to log into the virtual waiting room, you will be in the Zoom room where it happens. If you are not, don't worry, we are going to record the sessions and we will broadcast them all on our Facebook page and also on our YouTube channel. So join us. Yay, thank you, Lindsay, go have dinner. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> all right, ready to reset. Please welcome iTheatrics Education Director, Mr. Marty Johnson. Hello, hey Tim. Hey, Marty, how's it going? Uh, it's going great. It's going yeah. great. Um, as you know, we had our first week of rehearsals for our Zoobsicle, The Big One O, um, and it was amazing. Uh, I agree. It was fun. Um, I don't have any much to do with it I, except for adapting the script, uh, but it was so fun to see how you guys are using all of the weirdness of the Zoom platform, and truly, you're you're getting it done. You are. It feels like almost like a normal rehearsal process. Yeah, it's except for we can't hear the kids when they sing, but we're, we're but we have a whole plan, so it's been great. And uh, we have 16 kids from 16 different cities all across the country, and I actually have two of them in the waiting room who are going to come join us, and I'm going to ask them some questions if that's cool. Absolutely, bring them on. All right. Uh, so please, um, Mr. Vichet, if you could bring up uh, Miss Emily Adams and David Cortez to join us. Hey, guys. Hi. Hey, uh, thanks so much for doing this, uh, taking some time away from your online school, which I know you're doing completely every day as much as you're supposed to. Yes? Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so just uh, people know me, but they don't know you. So Emily, tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, where you're from, all those good things. Hi, I'm Emily Adams. I'm from Katy, Texas. I'm a sophomore this year, and I'm, yeah. <laughs> All right, that's great. And David? Um, I'm David Cortez. I am from San Bruno, so the Bay Area. Woo. Um, I am in 11th grade, and um, that's really it, I guess. All right, well, that's, a good, that's great. So, um, Emily, you have actually been in other versions of the Big One O. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to ask you, for the people who don't know what the show's about, to give us like the 20-second the version of the, the Big One O. Yeah, of course. 
So the show is all about Charlie moving to a new school and trying to throw his 10th birthday party with the help of his imaginary monster friends. He tries to make new friends at his school and they tell him all about how important your 10th birthday is. So he wants to throw one. Uh, his friends come over for the party without his mom's permission and they're not impressed. They're all bored and they just want to leave. So Charlie's <laughs> mom <laughs> Charlie's mom and their next door neighbor, Miss Cleveland, who's the one that told her about the party, come over and they Wait, say don't, give away the, don't give away the whole end. And then something exciting happens with Charlie's mom and <laughs> Cleveland. We'll just leave it at that. All right. Uh, cool. So excellent. Thank you, Emily. Emily. Um, so you did the very first pilot workshop out here in New York City. Uh, mm -hmm. And who did you play that time? I was the mom. You were the mom. And then you did it at Inspiration Stage down in Sugarland, Texas. Mm -hmm. The pilot, and they did the whole show workshop. And who did you play then? I was the mom again. Oh, great. So we're doing now this 20 minute brand new version. And who are you going to play? The mom. <laughs> oh, perfect. So uh, what's different about playing it now this time, the shorter version, than the other times? It's different because a lot of her stuff that was in the full version is not in this, and a lot of her lines have changed to fit this new storyline. So it's going to be interesting to see how we can change it and adapt it, but it's going to be fun. Cool. Um, excellent. And David, this is your first exposure to the Big One O. Yes. Yeah. Um, I know you saw a number from it at JTF West, where you came with your group, Spark of Creation Studios. Shout out. Shout out, yeah. Um, and so uh, how's this rehearsal process been? Um, it's, been um, it's been pretty hectic, I'm not going to lie. Um, sometimes <laughs> two people would talk, and then it would just get all merged together, and then it ends up having no audio whatsoever. Cool. Yeah. Um, are you still there or are you frozen? I'm right here. Okay. Um, you see. You're back. Great. Okay. Cool. cool. Um, no, yeah. And um, just super hectic, but it's super fun. And I'm excited to see what happens. Great. And who are you playing in, uh, in the room? I am playing Cougar. I believe he's one of his friends. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Excellent, Cougar. Cool. Um, so, Emily, I know you've been like rehearsing shows, and all of a sudden, all those rehearsals are canceled or have all moved to Zoom, including this one. Um, how's that? What's the difference in rehearsal process like for you? Um, using it's really, it's interesting to see because we can't actually, like y'all said earlier, we can't hear anybody else sing. So we all like go on mute and it's just Lindsay playing the piano and we're all singing in our own houses, but we don't know what anyone sounds like. And we don't even know if we're singing it right. We just have to be confident and trust ourselves. But yeah. Cool. Um, well, the show is going to be on the 17th of April. So literally two weeks from today, we uh -huh. will be performing more people on this thing. Um, What's one thing you think people will be surprised about or one thing you want people to look out for? Both of you guys, I'm gonna ask you that. I will start with you, Emily. Um, I think for people who've seen it before, just the differences and the people who haven't, just how fun the show is. Cool, and David? Um, I think it's gonna be better than people expect it to be. Nice, I do too. Um, you guys, are amazing. I have been lucky enough to be in the rehearsal. Oh, we've lost David for a little bit. Um, and I tell you, you guys are truly outstanding. Um, I'm sorry we lost David, but we're actually out of time and we're gonna move on anyhow. But thank you very much, Emily, for joining us. Thank you, David. I'm glad we got all of your stuff done before you uh, went away. Um, and like I mentioned, this will happen live on our JT Friday on April 17th. We'll have every kids here. And hey, Tim. Yeah, I'm ready. Um, what do you think about next week we bring one other cast member and we do a little preview of what we're doing and how it's all working? I would love that. I think that'd be so fun to see just what the heck you guys are doing and, and to show the world. All right, great. So we'll work that out. Um, we'll talk to... Uh, the Grand Vizar Vichet and ask him to help work it, make it happen. But we'll bring someone back with us. And maybe I'll invite, I don't know, Doug Besserman and Dean Pitchford to come on. Why not? 
You mean Tony Award winning Doug Vesterman and uh, like all those people with all those awards? Yeah, Academy Award winning Dean Pitch. Academy Pitcher. Award winning, yeah. yeah. Hey, That'd be cool. <laughs> all right, cool. Thanks, Tim. Thanks, Marty. All right, next up, we have the so talented Isabella Russo performing That Could Be Me from The Big One O. Enjoy, you guys. Every airplane needs a captain, every submarine does too, that could be me. I've always thought, gee, that could be me. Every astronaut in orbit has important jobs to do, that could be me. I mean, why not? That could be me. In my mind, there's no mountain that's too high to climb. There is no river that's uncrossable. And though I might get discouraged from time to time, I still believe that anything is possible. There are people people wave to, who they're always glad to see someday, you know. That could be me someday, whoa. That could be me. Wow. <laughs> that was beautiful. Thank you. It's a good song, huh? It is a beautiful song. Thank you for singing it. You just, you deliver it so beautifully. Mm. Thank you so much. So talented. And I love <laughs> your t-shirt. Thank you. I know. I had the same one on, actually, and then I changed the last minute. Okay. Well, next time, hopefully, we can match. We'll coordinate. We can twins this thing. Yeah. <laughs> So how are the Russos holding up during this um, pandemic? Crazy, crazy time. Um, we're doing okay, you know, with the whole self-quarantine and social distancing. Um, my dad's actually in the hospital right now with the virus, which oh. sucks, but he's recovering and, you know, we hope to have him home soon. Um, yeah, it's just made me even more aware of how important this quarantine is just to keep everyone as safe and as healthy as possible. Well, I'm really sorry to hear that, but he is such a uh, beautiful human being inside and out that uh, I'm sure he's going to have a, a, a speedy recovery. Thank you. I'm sure too. Uh, and, and thanks for sharing that with us. I think it's important for people to know that this thing is real. Mm -hmm. And even though you may not be in the epicenter like we are here in New York City, it's going to be everywhere. But yeah. That's you have to be afraid. I mean, what, what advice would you give your fellow teens? Just be as preventative as possible. Please, please, please stay inside and take the quarantine as seriously as possible. Um, thank you, Tiffany. Um, and, uh, you know, just stay inside and stay healthy. And there's no reason to be scared. Just be preventative and be careful. It's good advice. Good thank advice. You. Please, everybody, take, take that and take <laughs> care of yourselves. Thank you, Isabella. We're going to see you back in a few moments. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks again. <laughs> All right. So you can ask Isabella or Luca a question. We're hoping to get some of our young people involved. Just post it on Facebook with the live comments. And then VChat is going to pick two of those and ask those questions of those two fabulous people later in this broadcast. All right, you guys. So, um, Who's next, Vichet? Besides, <laughs> look. Wow. I mean, the timing is so perfect. It I didn't know you were on a safari, Tim. 
Yes, um, please tell us who's next. Uh, please welcome, all the way from the island of Lanai, please welcome Mr. Freddie, I'm sorry, Freddie G. Fellow, Matt Glickstein. Aloha, everyone. Aloha. How are you holding up, Matt? Good, good, doing good over here. Good, tell us um, what's happening on the island of Lanai during the pandemic. Sure, so we're on an extended spring break since about the middle of March, and now everyone's on that stay at home order here, just like you guys are over there. Um, so we're taking it really seriously here um, since our access to the medical facilities is limited. So hopefully we won't have many cases here. Um, the community is really tight knit. Everyone's looking out for each other while still keeping our physical distancing. Good to hear. And how are you keeping your kids and your community together? Yeah, so we had actually just started uh, Moana Junior when things got shut down, and I've never seen our kids more excited for a show. Um, during our Frozen Kids dress rehearsals, we had them singing and doing their own choreography on the stage, and they're already ready for the show. Um, our turnout for the auditions was probably as high as it's ever been, so we wound up double casting just about every single role. Um, we have two amazing choreographers on our staff, and they've begun doing like weekly dance classes on Zoom, and the kids are loving that. Um, we also just gave everyone an assignment to pick a song, dance, or scene from Moana, film themselves, and then we want to compile the videos into kind of like a virtual YouTube Moana Junior. So it'll be fun to see how that turns out. And we certainly don't want to cancel the show, so we're looking at a couple different plans for new dates, depending on when we can all start seeing each other in person again. Well, I'm going to suggest to everybody watching this that we plan a road trip to Lanai to see Moana, because come on, that is going to be off the hook incredible. That would be awesome. We'll have anybody anytime. I mean, we're all gonna need to get out of our places as soon as we can, right? And go do something yes. right and fun. Hey, you um, texted me uh, um, over the weekend, I think it was like Saturday, and you shared with me this video of a song that you co-wrote, and it's called There's a Light. And I was so moved by it, um, that we're sharing it all over our socials. Tell us the story behind the song. Yeah, yeah thank you. I actually, I work with the writer in Tennessee, uh, Jason Spragans. He sends me his finished lyrics and I put it to music, kind of like how Elton John and Bernie Taupin write their songs. So he sent me these lyrics with the title of There's a Light at the end of last year. And I wrote the music and I had a really good feeling about it. Um, but as songwriters, we can't have all our songs professionally recorded. That would get quite expensive, so we put kind of put it on the side as we had some other projects. Um, and then early in March, when this pandemic started to hit the US, I felt really strongly that we needed a quality recording of the song since the lyrics really turned out to be very timely and could bring a positive message of hope to the world. So we found this great singer and producer from the UK. Um, his name is Stefan Kelk, check him out if you can, who was able to put the track together with a full gospel choir. And by the way, after he recorded the song, he actually got the virus. Um, Thankfully, he's just got a mild case and he's recovered. So we're happy about that. Um, but we were really happy with how the recording turned out. And we got the idea to put it to a music video. So we put out the call to the Lapa kids and our families and friends and to send kind of clips in um, of how they're passing the time together and things they're doing to stay connected. So we also had all the Lapa kids come onto Zoom and we made kind of like our own simple choreography for the song. So put all that together into a music video put it up on YouTube and Facebook. And the goal with the song is to give people some hope and optimism, as well as maybe even hopefully raise some money for the charities related to the coronavirus. I love that. And, and you can go to songsforabetterworld.com is your um, website, correct? Yes, yes. And um, it has not only information on the song, but all of the incredible things that you are doing. You're a super talented guy. Well, thank you very much, you too. Thanks for joining us and please stay sequestered and stay safe. Yes, thank you for having me and thank you to all of you guys who are putting these JTF Fridays and Teachable Tuesdays together. It's really nice to have this to look forward to every week. I agree. Thanks, Matt. Aloha. Thank you. All right, Vice Vicar V. Chat, who's next? Give a hoot and a holler to JTF favorite, Mr. Luca Padavan. Hello there. Hi, Luca, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, I love these Fridays. It's like I get to hang out with all my friends. They're so fun, right? They are fun. Um, 
So uh, you were on the podcast that I do with SJ uh, for iHeartRadio Broadway um, just this last week. Uh, what was that experience like for you? That was so much fun. I've never done anything like that. Uh, and it was really nice to be on the podcast because I do the um, the jingle, the beginning and the end, which is still really crazy. And I can't believe that. Um, so it was so nice to just to talk to you guys. It was great. Yeah. And you um, you spilled a lot of tea like you were you said your favorite musical. Mm -hmm. You made a decision between Sondheim or Andrew Lloyd Webber. Yeah, I did. Hi, Rob. <laughs> Hello, Rob. Hello, Rob. Hi there. <laughs> well, if anyone wants to check out Grow It Up Broadway, you can just go to uh, iHeart Radio Broadway's YouTube channel and we post them there. They are video podcasts now. Yes. Um, and they are a lot of fun. And we will always be revealing who our uh, guest on JT Fridays that week will be by interviewing them on the show. So people should check it out. Hey, I think that Vichette has some questions for you and Isabella. So All come right. do it. I do have questions. I'm going to take Tim away. I'm going to bring Isabella on. Hello, Isabella. Hello again. All right. Our first question comes from Ella Sobel from Bay Area Children's Theater in Oakland, California. Ella, take it away. Hi. Hello. Hi, Ella. Okay. So my question is, if there were one person in the theater world with whom you could sit down and have a cup of tea, who would it be and why? Uh. Do you want to go first? Sure. Um, go first. Probably Hugh Jackman, because he just seems like a really fun person. And he's really like, I don't know, just charismatic and just such a genuine person. I'd really like to meet him and get to know him and have tea with him. <laughs> That's such a good answer. <laughs> Come on, I want to steal it. No, I'm not going to steal it. Um, I would say I have two. Can I pick two? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I would say Bernadette Peters because I love her so much and her performance as the witch is Iconic. one of my favorite performances ever in theater history. And it's a big reason why I love theater so much. So I think I would just die if I had tea with her. Um, and then also, I don't know if this technically counts, but I'm going to say it does. I would say Chris Evans because I'm a huge Marvel fan and he was in a play last year, The Lobby Hero. So he kind of counts as a Broadway Performer, yeah. but I'm gonna say he does because that would be really, really cool. Yeah, that would be awesome. Isabella, did you have one? Um, I yes, I said Hugh Jackman. Oh, you said Hugh Jackman. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, amazing. Um, okay, so if anybody on our Facebook wall or YouTube has any questions, go ahead and comment below. Um, and then we'll pull those questions up. Um, but in the meantime, we're gonna go straight to Emily Adams. Thank you, Ella. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. We're gonna now go to Emily Adams uh, from Inspiration Stage. She was just here a second ago. Um, Emily, what's your question? Hi. 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 I just wanna know, so I've seen y'all at JTF the past several years and mm -hmm. I wanna know what makes y'all wanna come back every year. Um. Do you want to go first, Bella? Oh, go ahead. Okay. Um, I would say the the kids. The kids, there is such talent at JTF. It's ridiculous. JTF is like, I don't know any place that's like it. There's so many incredible people that are not only talented, but just good people. And it's like seeing the future of Broadway when I'm there. I feel like I, I, I'm just shocked every time I go there because I'm like, how are these kids not on Broadway? What? is happening, it, it, it's just the best. So I would say the kids, cause they're just ridiculous, ridiculously talented and just the kindest, so yeah. Honestly, it's the same answer for me. It is so, the energy as soon as you get there is like indescribable. It's so fun to be there and see everyone perform and to perform to perform um with that many people there and everyone is equally as excited as everyone else so it's it's just super fun and i love going there awesome thanks guys thank, thank you. you thank you emily all right you guys we're gonna bring it back to tim mcdonald 
Hello, Sim. Hi, Tim. Those are good questions. Um, I would want to have tea with you, Jack, and at Peter's. Right? right. Be fun. I actually got to do a project with Bernadette. She did a, little, a thing for um, JTF where she did a voiceover for us. It was, I, I, you I got to meet her. the queen. I know. Queen of the day. She and Freddie Gershon are really good friends. That's wild. I know, right? It is wild. That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. Oh That's my God. Crazy too, we're only one degree away from Hugh Jackman with Justin and Benj. That's true. That's true. <laughs> it could happen. It could happen. All right, well, Luca, you've Just agreed to perform a little song for us. What are you going to yes. do? I'm going to do Good Kid from The Lightning Thief, one of my yeah. favorites. Take it away. Six schools in six years, been kicked out of every place. Everything I ever do is wrong, never find where I belong, everybody on my case. The same old story, the same old song, don't act up, don't act out, be strong. I keep my head down, I keep my chin up, but it ends up all the same. With pack your bags, Percy, you're always to blame. I never try to do anything, I never mean to hurt anyone. I swear, I swear that I'm a good kid, a good kid, a good son. But no one ever will take my side. All I ever do is take the fall. I swear, I swear that I'm a good kid. Guess I'm good for nothing at all. Dave was a world-class jerk. Dad was never there. The only family that really mattered. Well, she vanished into the air. And now I finally find a haven. Someplace safe where I can stay. Till it's pack your bags, Percy. Now go, go away. I never try to do anything. I never mean to hurt anyone. I try, I try to be a good kid. Yeah, Percy, that's a good one. But no one ever will take my side. All I ever do is take the fall. I swear, I swear that I'm a good kid. Guess I'm good for nothing at all. Schools in six years, every battle, every day. No one ever tells me that they're proud. No one asks me, Percy, how you'd like to come around and stay. All you get are bad grades, and a bum rap, and a bad rep, and a good smack, and no friends, and no hope, and no mom. She's taken away. I swear I never stole anything. I never meant to hurt anyone. I swear, I swear that I'm a good kid. Good kid had a bad run and all I need is one last chance to prove I'm good enough for someone I'm good enough for someone I'm good enough for someone I'm good enough for Amazing! Thank you. Luca, your voice has always been brilliant. It just gets stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. You are such a true talent. Thank you so much, Tim. Yeah, thanks for joining us. Of course. Yes, we'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Well, that is today's episode of JT Fridays Live at 4. Thank you so much for joining us. And now go out there, make sure you take care of yourself, you take care of others, 
and do try to make the world a better place, one musical at a time. That's a wrap, everyone. Great job. Hey, mama, welcome to the 60s. Hello.